Good on. morning, everyone, and welcome to the Quantum Leap Futures Morning Leap Session for Tuesday, April the 24th, 2018. My name is Doug McKay. I'm the founder of Quantum Leap Futures. Each morning we get together in these live go-to sessions to take a look at the market macro to micro, take a look at the structure of the market, and then we take our and drill down to our trade levels, our targets, and our hypotheses. We do create multiple hypotheses. We do not know what the market's going to do. Therefore, we have a plan in place based on who takes control, the buyers or sellers. And then we have two alternative plans uh, for trend type scenarios. This is a subscription room. If you're interested in checking out, send me an email at quantumleapfutures at gmail.com. There's no website, no blog. This is not a commercial venture. We do everything live here in the go-to. And then we do live trading and analysis during the course of the uh, regular trading hours. Please read through the disclaimer. Nobody at Quantum Leap is a certified trading advisor. We are retail traders operating within a self-employed learning environment. Past performance is not indicative of future results and entries that you see in Quantum Leap are for education purposes only. Please trade your own due diligence, your own trade plan, and your own risk metrics. Taking a look at yesterday. Yesterday, our uh, main hypothesis was an open auction in range, uh, just out of value. Uh, we ended up actually moving just in value but we are looking for a move up to the overnight high and then somewhere between there and the range high from Friday. We are looking for responsive sellers to step in, rotate, rotate us down, come down into the naked VPOC, which is our main uh, target, move down through value and then somewhere down here, finding buyers and stepping in and rotating us back up. Um, and that's basically what we got yesterday. We did push through to almost the 57. We get to 57 and a quarter. It might cause a VPOC on the longer time frame from the February the 2nd till yesterday is down there at 57. <coughs> then we rotated back up into the close, back into this distribution zone, and back into that balance that we had on Friday. Taking a look at the overnight. Overnight inventory is pretty much 100% net long in time and price. We just had a VPOC shift up not too long ago up into the 87. We have a very blunt weak high here up at the 88.50 area, double top. And we've created a double dist uh, a distribution zone up here with the LVN at uh, basically uh, 82.75, which is one tick below the prior day range. So we came back down, rejected that range, and have moved up and are accepting value higher. Taking a look at the macro, or let's take a look at the news first. Um, taking a look at the uh, the news, we've got Red Book coming out in three minutes, uh, eight minutes. We've got uh, House Price Index. Um, 18 minutes, we've got uh, Bank of England, uh, Deputy Governor Wood speaking. 10 o'clock, though, is going to be the big news. We've got CB Consumer Confidence, new home sales, uh, new home sales month over month, Richmond Manufacturing. And then at 11.30, we have the four-week bill auction. And that's it for the news. Not a lot of news. We are in the heart of earnings season. Um, so let's take a look at the earnings. Uh, Caterpillar was a beat. Uh, Lockheed was a beat. I thought that was yesterday. Let me just make sure I'm on the right day. Yeah. Horizon was a uh, was a beat. Uh, 3M uh, came out as expected. It looks like most of these are beats uh, after the market closes. We've got Texas Instruments, Amgen, Win, uh, Super Value, Capital One. Uh, not seeing any uh, bigger ones than that coming out. Looking at the macro to micro, I'm trying to rush through this because of the fact that, you know, it seems everybody doesn't like how long these are. Uh, taking a look at the macro to micro. Looking at the monthly, the monthly, the trend is still intact, holding the 9 and the 20, good slope, good separation. We're losing a little bit of it, but uh, trend is still intact. On the weekly, uh, we were looking at the possible trend change, but we came up and we're now back above the 
uh, the 20 uh, coming up, uh, I'm sorry, back above the 9, coming up towards the 20 will take us up into that 27.11. But uh, so far, we're, you know, we had uh, looked at a possible trend change on the weekly, but they're taking it back. Going to the daily, you can see that we're back above the 9 and the 20, but we're in the consolidation zone here and uh, just going sideways. Going to the 4-hour. We had, uh, you know, dropped below the 9 and the 20, and we're starting to trend down. Now they've taken it back, and we're back above the 9 and the 20. This looks like we're going to release to the upside. Take a look at the structure. We have this longer time frame <clears throat> value, and I don't know why it's moved. Let me just move it back to where it should be on the breakdown day from the February the 2nd. Um, our value area high is up at the 2730 area. Our VPOC, we came down and tested that yesterday. Um, it's uh, currently at 57, I believe. Let me just verify that. This range is so wide right now. Yeah, 57. Um, we have a three day micro composite VPOC at uh, 71 and a quarter. Double distribution in the last three days with the LVN here at uh, 81.50. That was our over underline on Friday, I believe. Um, and uh, we're coming up <clears throat> towards the value area high at 87.75. Our eight, high is 88.50. And if we can get above it, a move up into the 91 and then possible continuation uh, up into that uh, 2700 test again. Uh, in terms of hypotheses, <clears throat> we're going to open up just above range. It's still early, so we could come down into the range, but basically, you know, we're at the upper end or above uh, the prior day range. My main hypothesis is a open auction just out of range, just in range, out of value, a move down into the uh, the 73, 75 area, possibly close the gap, find buyers, rotate us up, and continue the auction higher up into testing <coughs> Friday range high at 94.75, chop here, and then push up towards 27.03. That is hypo one. Hypo two is an open auction, uh, just in range, just out of range, a push up into the overnight high in that 26.90 area, Buying responsive sellers, rotate us down into the distribution from yesterday, chop around in this three-day VPOC, and basically go sideways and then start drifting up into the close and closing somewhere in around the year open uh, around 75.75. Our hypo three will be possible gap and go. I don't know yet because it's not there, but uh, uh, failure to close the gap and then a immediate push up into the 94.75 chop up here and then pop up and come up here into where we failed uh, you know on Wednesday of last week uh, up here at the uh, you know 27.18 20 area and back up into that former balance up there now uh, that is hypo three hypo four is a open auction out of range or just in range a quick move down into that 57, chop into the 57, fail, and push down into uh, the uh, month open area down here at 2635, fail, and push down into the lower 2600 down here. Those are my four main hypotheses. Taking a quick look at gold. Gold broke uh, down, as we were talking about yesterday, um, and uh, we have a two-day microcomposite VPOC down here at the 26 area. I'm looking for gold to push a little bit lower down into the 19 area before bouncing back up one more time up into the 26 area. But if we don't uh, bounce off of the 19 area, look for them to push through, and I'm looking for them to come down into 
testing the lower 1300s. If we can get above the 34 area, then I'm looking for a continuation up into the 42 to 45 area. So I know this is quick, but I'm trying to keep these shorter now uh, as people are continuing to tell me that it's way too long. As always, trade well, trade safe, and we'll catch you on the flip side.